That's what happens when a man is in love with a woman that doesn't love him. And he's doing everything to try to make sure that try to win her love. And I've been there before. You have to make a decision. Either accept it for the love she's getting in and just accept that and or just leave it alone. But you will never, ever win her over because you can't make her heart feel what it don't. And she don't. And her actions that night showed it. And my problem with our women, because I never date nothing but black women, but my only thing is, y'all got to stop harboring these fugitives. If they wrong, <laughs> if they wrong, they wrong. You understand? Because we're talking about her, we don't mean we violating all black women. So let that fugitive out here so deal with the consequences man. of this, because you harboring that fugitive inside. <laughs> Let's bring her on out here to be properly dealt with. Man, I'm not finna go to the award show with no bitch. I ain't got no control of. That, that bitch was smiling when he was up there crying, apologizing. Yeah. When he was up there crying, apologizing, that bitch. Like, you see what Jada does. If you really research this woman, you see, oh, this so wicked. Yeah. Who gave him weird old kids? Nobody want to say this. The woman run the household. You know what I mean? It's, I it's you think this is a result of the woman run the household? Hey. It's the result of an evil run the household. Come on. Uh, we'll get that toxic admit to life. I'm sure you're going to calm down. That's what it is. Somebody who you for real need to tell you. I know you don't want to be broke. You don't want to go to mother. Um, divorce court or whatever but your life is being stressed out over this job. this that you going you are not as strong a man as you would be if you wasn't sitting by toxic iron man come on come on somebody tell him that who know him we all know what it is and she show it. Did some bold to that in public. Bold. Shit. I'm talking about everybody who know what's up. Come on, man. Come on, man. Motherfucker. Hey, man. That's his life, though. Woo, woo, woo. Look at his life. Look at what he did. Look at what he gonna be known for. All the shit he accomplished. What is he gonna be known for? Will Smith, he was finally going to be rewarded for all of his work and everything that he's accomplished. No doubt, it was his night. But instead, he decided to ruin everything by making the decision that he made to, quote, protect his wife. Protect his wife, who was in no danger at all. And as you can see, she found the moment funny. The moment her husband decided to make a fool out of himself in her honor. Many of you are wondering, why didn't Jada come out to defend her husband? After all, he put everything on the line to, quote, protect her. I'll tell you why, but first, take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Click the notification bell for all updates, and if you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below, and I'm going to try my best to respond to all of you. Would you define tonight as uncomfortable? No, I would define tonight as a success. Okay. It was a great night tonight. Okay, what first did you of all, I seen a man stand up for his wife, okay. which we don't see that much anymore. That made me have hope. Tiffany Haddish just said that Will slapping Chris Brock, it gave her hope. Hope for what exactly? Would you feel the same way if he had slapped Regina Hall? You know, Regina Hall made comments before Chris Brock. Would you have that same energy if it had been her instead? Of course not. The problem here is that women like Tiffany Haddish, women like Jada Pinkett, they hate men. They really do. Jada Pinkett once admitted that. They do not like men. That's why that night and that week, you saw a lot of women praising Will Smith. Most of those women, single women. Most of those women with deep hatred towards men. Those are the women that you had running around cheering this on. Yeah, I wanna know how you felt about it. Would you want your husband to do that for you if you was clearly hurt? I mean, they put her face up on the screen. She looked over at his wife, she was hurt. What would you want? I would want him to defend me. The only the thing that made me sad was like this was a big night for Will, and then you saw that emotion for him, and it was like God, it's, it's just I can't. I I don't think I've still processed how this night went. You know. Well, I just know she better take care of business when they get home. <laughs> Cause I know I would. 
Yeah. My man did that for me. I'm just saying. Yellow. Did you talk to either of them tonight? Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. Did you tell them how you felt? Oh, they know how I feel. Yes. Okay. Oh, they know how I feel. That's my friends. Yeah. They know. Will you go way back with them to that? To, the, to, the to girls trip. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They know my crazy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, it was incredible to watch Will up there. T1. How did you feel watching him give that speech? I felt very proud. I felt gratified, and I just hope that more men are like that. They care about their families. Now it's not just about you, right? It's not just about you, sir. What about your family, the people you create, the people that help you be who you are? Ma'am, that's what you should have said to Jada. It's not all about Jada. It was about Will's night, what he's built his legacy for the family. Jada could care less about their legacy because she can't stand Will anyway. That's why she was laughing when her husband was making a fool of himself. That's why she didn't try to calm her husband down. That's why Tyler Perry and Denzel Washington had to do it. This is a very evil, manipulative woman. She knew what to do to unleash him. And she watched in glee as he went up there and undid all of his greatness. Will has accomplished a lot, but now this is the highlight of his career. On the night that was supposed to be the best night of his career, it's the most memorable night but for the wrong reasons. As a wife, you should want to protect a legacy. But let's be honest, Jada never wanted to be Will's wife in the first place. That's why she spent the last quarter of a century doing whatever she could to undermine their relationship, introduce craziness in their relationship, look at their kids. Jada has such an influence over the whole family. They're out of order. And her mother and her grandmother, well, they have a history. And she's been sitting up there at that red table telling it all. Now you have Will Smith, his money, his reputation being impacted, projects getting placed on hold, some in pre-production considering finding a replacement. You got the Oscars deciding whether or not they're going to take it back. And you know, I was wondering, when would Jada come out and defend her husband? Well, word is, Jada wished Will didn't do it. She's saying he overreacted. A lot of people, men and women, both saying that it seems like Jada is trying to throw Will under the bus. The man that just made himself look like a complete fool, she seems to be more concerned with protecting her own image. Word is that Jada said that she is not the type of woman that needed to be protected. Basically, she's saying that she didn't ask Will to do it. He did it on his own. And at the end of the day, this is what toxic women do. They will set you up to do something crazy to impress them or stroke their ego, all in the name of protection, then turn her back on you once you end up suffering the consequences for your actions. Banned from the industry, project scrap, lawsuits, behind bars, or six feet under. And the reason why Jada didn't try to smooth things over or defend Will is because she can't stand him. She's enjoying all the attention from this. When dealing with a woman like Jada, the more you try to show her love and affection, the more she will push you away. Will is not the man Jada wanted. But Will had star power, social status, money. If he lost all his social status right now and never regained it, Jada will be filing for divorce and running away with at least 50% in alimony. But something tells me that she's more evil than that. She could be possibly pushing him to self-deletion on purpose so she can have 100%. And this woman is pure evil. It's not really about money for her. It's about the power and control and dominating a man. So there it is. That's the reason why Jada is doing what she's doing. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. Thank you to Tyrone W and Cal Bunn. I appreciate you all, as well as Dark Power and the sister Luke Hazley. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.